come here to honor our ancestors, O oh Lord, and we do thank you, Lord, for you are the cause of honor. You you raised them up to to oppose uh, tyrants and tyranny. I'm John Byington. I'm the commander of the Kingsport Sons of uh, Confederate Veterans of the John Mosby camp. And uh, December 13, 1864, uh, there was a small skirmish fought here, and uh, the Confederates were defeated in that skirmish. And uh, last year was our inaugural event for commemorating the battle, but uh, we intend to uh, make it an annual thing, this year being our second. Um, Stoneman has assembled his forces. They drew seven days rations at Bean Station, and they traveled, um, they traveled um, on average during that campaign 42 and a half miles a day. Um, and what's amazing is they made it from Bean Station, fought a battle at Rogersville, and were sitting on the other side of the river here um, before the morning of the 13th. Um, Basil Dick's forces under um, Richard Kurt Morgan had put up a pretty good defense. Um, he just had a few hundred men versus 5,500, so he was woefully outnumbered. But the orders he had was basically to resist at all points so they could buy time to assemble more troops closer to Saltville. Um, we were talking last night, I said, I really think that the Confederates were shocked at how quickly the Union was able to advance. This is the coldest winter of the war. They had freezing rain. I mean, the conditions were horrible. And these Union guys managed to push into them. Now, it's hard to say how the campaign would have eventually played out. I suspect 5,500 was going to defeat 300 no matter what. But there was an um, individual from Kingsport who was an officer in the 8th Tennessee Cavalry by the name of Samuel K. Patton. He was familiar with the area, and instead of assaulting, the bridge here was unserviceable. I mean, it had been allowed to deteriorate through the war, and you couldn't haul wagons or horses, and you probably didn't want to walk across it. You were going to ford. Um, and they were not looking forward to the prospect of charging across an icy river. And, of course, the hillside here was much higher at the time because they graded this off significantly. So they had to charge underneath this bluff and come around this hill with the Confederates firing on them the whole way. And I don't think they really looked forward to that. Um, so what was suggested by Patton was is they take troops up north about where Carter's Valley Road is, cross over there, and then bring, bring troops down through Bear Town and into the rear of the, the Confederate forces. And that's what happened.